Hello and welcome to episode 68 of the Knitting Annihilator podcast. My name is Akira, your friendly neighborhood knitter, and I'm coming to you today from my amazing home in Adamsville, Alabama, where I live with my sexy gorgeous husband and my two boys, Aiden who is three and Ethan who is one. Today is april the 2nd if you are new here thank you for checking us out and if you are a returning viewer welcome back it's always a mouthful for some reason so it's been a while since i've podcasted um we've been going through tornado season and having to take shelter and all these things um we're still currently in the layoff status with my husband's jobs we've been trying to figure those things out and um my dad's mind is going on strike there's so many things happening <laughs> so we've just been taking it one day at a time but i am finally here to provide you a podcast so um Let's see what else has happened. Nothing really. I've been just knitting things that bring me joy. Um, if it hasn't brought me joy, then I kind of just been tossing it to the wayside. Um, I have some finished objects for you, some victories as I call them, some battles, which are works in progress, and some kryptonite, which are things I bought. And um, yeah. So um, just some admin things um, I was running a knit along that ended a couple of days ago and um, let me go here So it ended a couple of days ago. And um, what I was going to do, it looks like only about three people <laughs> participated. So I was just going to send three people something. So I'm going to get in touch with everyone I see. So here's one. So this is her. So that's one winner. Oh, maybe it's two. Oh, this is the second person. I'm going to put all this on the screen. I don't really know if this is working. Oh, yes, it is. Look at that. Two, yeah, so two people. So, oh, wait, three. Here's the third person. So, I'm gonna get in touch with everyone today, just thank them for joining the knit along and just send them something nice. So But that is it uh, on the administrative things, uh, just that I was going to be sending out those prizes to those people that participated. And um, I think I'm going to cool off on the knit alongs. Um, the only casual one that I'm low-key doing by myself is um, a sweater a month. I've come up to this conclusion that I can knit a sweater in at least a month. So... <laughs> Um, I am just chilling and knitting with myself, knitting a sweater a month. So, that's about it. So, I guess we can get started. If you would like to find me on the internet, I am on Instagram as knitting underscore and I later underscore. Um, so, where do I want to start? You know what, let's go ahead and start with victories. So, I have three um, one is not here because I did finish my brother-in-law's sock head hat. Um, I think it's by K Kelly McClure. I'm going to put everything on the screen. And um, 
I did finish that and give it to him on his birthday. I knit that in 13 days. Very proud of myself. And um, I put a little pom-pom on top. There was a picture of my son in the hat. Let's see. Because I thought he was so cute. So here's my son, Ethan, in the hat. And I used yarn from, um, that my best friend bought me from Hobby Lobby. Those, uh, off-brand, this is called Yarn Bee or something. I used that, and then I got the pom-pom from a local yarn store. Um, so that is one victory. Another one, um, I'll talk about the small ones and the big ones. So another one is, um, my dad's birthday is on April 17th, and I wanted to get ahead on gifts, so I went ahead and and made him this hat oh I love it oh it looks so good so this is out of the Star Wars knitting in the galaxy book and this is called the clone trooper hat by Tannis Gray that's it this is and yeah, I am very, very proud of how this came out. So the fit, so it fits um, pretty much like a beanie, which is what I wanted because my dad likes beanies more so than like um, sachi hats. But at the same time, I kind of want to block it a little because I just want the color work to be a little bit crispier but I love the snug and I don't want it to I don't want it to lose this as you can see apparently it's really long <laughs> so I don't want it to lose this grasp on the head so I don't really know what to do you can comment below what I can do to the hat to get the stitches to relax a little bit more but yeah, I love this so much, and I am so proud. Oh, I have an awake baby. It's fabulous. I'm going to keep going. Maybe Daddy will get it. So, I actually knit this on the recommended needle size, which was a US 3. And the yarns I used in this... Um, the gray is Dragon Horde Yarns in the colorway Shadows. And the white cream color is either Hedgehog Fibers in the colorway Typewriter. Or it's Bad Wolf Girl Studios um, in the colorway Hagwood. Hagrid? Hag Hagwood. The, the owl, whatever the owl's name is. So yeah, I'm very, very proud of this. And I got this done in a timely fashion. Also, I wanted to finish this by the 31st of March, so that way I can start my April sweater on April 1st. And I got that done. Um, what else? Oh, I knit the largest size out of this size out of this pattern for my dad so I think that's it I knit these on my Chowgu interchangeable set yes and um oh the sock head hat is a free pattern on Ravelry I only know it's on Ravelry right now I don't really know if it's anywhere else but it's free so I guess you could ask your friend to send you the pattern if Ravelry isn't accessible to you. Yes. So my third and final victory, and man, if it's a victory if I haven't seen it, is my Tecumseh by Caitlin Hunter, also known as Boylan Networks on Instagram. And you know, that's her designer person name. 
Um, I have knit this sweater one time before. So let's talk about that. Let me go grab it. Oof. So what is so invigorating about knitting a sweater that you've already made is the fact that you see growth in yourself. Make sure I'm on the break. Right. Yes. Is that you see growth in yourself. So this is the first time I ever made it. This yarn is Legacy Fiber Arts in the colorways Tuxedo and Lavender Lace, I believe. This is a paid for DK weight pattern. And the first time I made it, I know it's gorgeous in here, but let's go under here. Let's go under here. All right. So there are, it gets wonky up and up in here. Like, I don't know what that is or how I even did that. There it is. Yeah, see, so I don't know how that happens, so I always have to be careful when I put my arm into the hole. And then I had the idea to, I made Instagram posts about it, like it's so scary. I had the idea to cut the yarn because that one was so um, long. And then I did something, something weird. It was just a very strange process. And then I think on this one. On this one I feel like. It looks like I did okay. Um, but I held on to those stitches for dear life it seems. So. That is. That's the saga. I know there's posts and I just, when I look at it, I feel the, the, the reign of terror thinking of those stitches that I cut and then it almost unraveled and I almost died. So, made this one time before. So when I made this one, I felt like I knew what I was doing and I knew how to hold my yarn, how to make sure my tension was good, how to, um make modifications if I wanted to so I thought that was great so let's talk about it so modifications I made I did a contrasting collar cuff and hem so I did those in the color work colors um, for some reason I do love always doing the color work in one color I feel like that's very um, clean and I used um, Bruharia Alana yarn in the colorway um, Summer's End. And I have all my leftovers. So this is my leftovers from my dad's hat. There's so much. I can make something else with it. Um, so I have four balls of the Bruharia Alana yarn. So this is what's left of the fourth ball. And then I got three little nubby balls in there. And then the color work colors are Knit Picks, Swish DK. And the colorway Bordeaux. And there's quite a bit of this left, but then I have like one left over. And this pattern was so fun, and I made a video on the process of making this pattern. So I'll put that in the little eye up here um, if you would like to see that. Um, it just walks you through me casting on, knitting it. I, there's shots of me knitting. I'm counting down the days. Um, it took me an entire month. I started February 22nd, ended March 22nd. So, yes, I was very <laughs> excited to cast this off and wear it and I wore it with my butt shorts that I made by Jessie Mae Designs and um <laughs> I love those butt shorts 
I, I could knit them a little longer, as my husband would say. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what else did I want to say? I made the smallest size. No, I didn't. I made a small, because there's an extra small. So I made a small, and I used the recommended needle sizes. Except for when I'm on the sleeve, for some reason I always forget to change needles for the sleeve. So I think it's a four and a six for the body. Um, but I always, again, forget to change when I'm doing the sleeves. But I love them. I love the uh, puffy sleeve situation. I can't really show you because it's poncho-y, but it's like a puffy sleeve situation. And it's like a poncho, so when you hold your hands up, of course it comes up. But it's really nice, and I'm really proud of it. I blocked it and everything. Blocking it, it kind of turned into like a big old dress. And it's shrunken down some, kind of to the length that I wanted. So I was so glad that I knit to the length that I wanted. And it blocked out pretty good. So, yeah trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say about this pattern oh I do suggest this as a um good first time color work pattern because you get to learn I guess because these are not as hard like sometimes there's like a bunch of colors and a bunch of charts and all this stuff this was definitely this one is definitely I feel like on the easier spectrum than some other ones so I recommend this if you want to do color work for your first time. So yeah, so that is all my victories for the month of March. So let's get into some battles. So I have two working ones. Um, I have a third one, um, but it's a, it's a UFO and it's coming up on being casted on a year, but we're not going to talk about it. I guess until that year comes. So um, I'll show my sweater first because the next one is a mystery knit along. So, my sweater of the month is the Astraeus by Meg of Bat Wolf Girl Sits and Knits in Bat Wolf Girl Studios. I want to pull that up for you and show you. It's hot in All right, so this is what the Astraea sweater looks like. I think that's the baby version that someone knit. It's so cute. So that is what I am making. And um, I'm like color coordinated. So um, I'm not very far. I just cast on yesterday, April 1st. And um, I am working some short rows right now. I always do short rows if they're an option because I like the way things sit up on your neck when you do that. So this is what I have so far. <laughs> and I'm saying I'm coordinating. Look at that. That's so crooked. I'm so mad. Anyway, <laughs> I'm coordinating because um, the light is not getting it. But this is actually like some purple colors. So another color work sweater, I am making the, I want to say the second size for the 36 inch bust. This is a paid for pattern that you can find on Ravelry or Ribbler, I believe is how you say it, R-I-B-B-L-R. -B -B you can buy it there too if you cannot access Ravelry. And um, another color work sweater, so this is my um, main color, which is... Dragon Horde Yarns in the colorway Prudence. So this is what it looks like um, in a skein. Ooh, look at me showing off. This is what it looks like in a skein. Um, and this is what it looks like caked up. All right, and then this is my contrasting color which is a, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a Barocco Vintage DK. And the colorway 2114. 
and that's what this is so these are going to be my moons and my stars and all this stuff so i thought that was really pretty and i can go ahead and put my progress keeper on there since we're talking about it and my progress keeper is from whitney marie anderson and in the sunlight she glows purple well, let's see if I can put her on with these nails on. I be thinking I'm so grown with these nails on. Then you can't do nothing. Grown and can't do nothing. Got it. All right. So I was able to put her right there. Um, this is, I think I said, paid for DK weight pattern. I She is living in my Fates thread bag and my witch's bag. Cause I feel like the moon and witches they do stuff together <laughs> so I got her living in here this is what the fabric looks like and I am really loving it so far this called for a alternating cable cast on which I had never done before and I was so proud of myself. I did have to start over a few times just because I've never done that cast on before. And I don't know if you can tell it kind of like makes your edging like really neat compared to other um, cast ons. So I thought that was really, really cool. And, um,. Yeah, like I said, I started yesterday, and I'm almost done with the short rows. I am using the recommended needle size of the 5 and the 7, um, just because I feel like my color work can get pretty tight, um, just because I'm always nervous and trying to like make sure my floats are good and all that stuff. So going with I always go with the recommended needle size when it comes to color work. And then if all else fails, I may go up one. But I'm using my Chow Gu interchangeable set for that. And then my shorties for the sleeve. So yeah. I'm going to be working on this throughout the night. Um, like when I put the kids to bed. Because when I'm watching the kids, I have to work on my mystery knit along so I can stay ahead. So let me grab that and then we can talk about that. Okay, we are back. So, this is living in my Bearded Pearl bag, or the Bearded Pearl. Yeah, the Bearded Pearl on Etsy. And if you um, do not want to be surprised by the first clue that I'm not done yet and the second clue is out, then I will try to put a timestamp here somewhere where you can go if you don't want to see it. Um, but this is the Mother's Day Mystery Knit Along that the Periscoping Sisters, Debbie and Amy, put on every year that I do for my mother every year. And um, this year it's called a Mother's Hug. And I love that so much. Um, and this year I got my mom more involved than usual. So I gave her some options and she got to pick her yarn. Um, of course, I had to scratch out the price because she asks a lot of questions. <laughs> so, um, yes. So, I'm about to show it just in case I forget the timestamp. So, I'm about to show it if you'd like to look away. I won't describe it or anything, but I will just kind of show you where I am. Um, I'll show the yarn first. Again, in case you are just still here and don't want to see. So, I am using the um yarn sponsor or they are you know showcasing this year and it is from yarn experiments and this colorway is called rust so pretty and then this colorway is vintage confetti This is a paid for fingering weight pattern. And if you don't know what a mystery knit along is, a mystery knit along is when you 
sign up for the pattern, but you receive clues each week to knit and you don't know what it looks like. There are no pictures or anything like that. So I am now about to show you how far I am on clue one. So one, two, three, here we go. So this is clue one. Very interesting. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> bless you. Thank you. Thank you if you bless me. Because I do that all the time. Um, so this is where I am. I'm using my signature needles in the recommended, recommended needle size of the US4. My stitch marker here is... Um, brown girl knits and I thought she goes very well with the aesthetic of the yarn in the bag and this is where I am so far I am also making a let's knit together out of this um, out of this uh, mystery knit along as well so you're going to be coming along with me as I knit on this mystery knit along and I won't put this video out until, well, the Mystery Knit Along Knit Together video. I won't put that video out until after Mother's Day. So that way I don't spoil it for anybody. Just want to move my Parker's Keeper. Rip. And you break it. And you break the fingernail. Isn't that just dandy? And my husband's always talking crap, like, you don't need those anyway, you always break them in two days. Just let me be cute this one time, jeez. There, I think I got it. Nope, it's still kind of... Does anyone else have trouble putting on their progress keepers, or is it just me? Maybe it's just me. Just wanted to move my progress keeper. So yeah, that's what my progress keeper looks like. It's been very relaxing so far, but from what I've seen in clue two, there's some some stuff coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to nip this in the bud. I'm gonna do some laundry and then reward myself with some knitting time. So if you are looking for an okay to look back you can look back now so talked about all that and that's all I've been working on so let's get into some kryptonite I um I'll start with this so the beautiful April who is smiles underscore hard I don't know if she has a hundred score on the internet. On the internet, sent me a message. She was like, I know there's this local yarn store closer to you. Would you like to meet up? And all this stuff. She also bought some yarn for my D stash. And I was like, heck yeah, let's do it. Of course, who forgets the yarn from the D stash to bring to her? Because I'm cuckoo. So we ended up coming back to my house and um, knitting in the yard and it was the best thing ever there were pictures and all that stuff so i got a project to commemorate that moment because i've never done anything like that before like meeting up with knitting friends to knit and have a good time so i got a project to commemorate that so i bought a pattern from marisha of of marcia that's her name marcia of a uh, very little podcast very little designs and I think it's called the contemplate sweater it's like an off-the-shoulder chunky really snuggy situation and I bought yarn for that and the way this woman was caking up the yarn in the store infuriated me because like you you weren't even trying you weren't even trying and it's the fact that it's the fact that i could have did this at home now i don't know where to pull from and all she could say was oh you should use the outside 
well ma'am if I'm caking up the ball I'm not trying to use the outside so I'm probably going to have to ball like look at this I'm probably going to have to ball all these yarns up because <laughs> they really screwed this up and then someone almost died right in front of our eyes like it was ridiculous so this yarn is Barocco Vintage Chunky and the colorway 6190. This is what the tag looks like, sorry. And um it's a eggplant color, even though it's reading like blue. It's like a purple. So I have like nine of these. No, I have I took whatever however many they have. One, two, three, four. I took seven. There's seven of them. And um I got that. I also bought some wool wash there. Bought some wool wash and then also the pom pom for my brother in law's um hat. And then they gave us a progress keeper that I'm not finding right now. Okay, I can't find the progress keeper. But the progress keeper was um, the name of the store, which was Knit Happens. So I thought that was cute. Um, so that was what I bought. And then I bought a bag to go with it. And Fate's Thread was having a um, sale for Pi Day. So everything was 31.4% off. So I bought myself this bag. And it is a Nintendo inspired bag. I am a huge Nintendo fan. I still have my Nintendo DS. Um... I think it's a 3DS. I still have that. And I have a Switch that I've had for a while. And I love it. So I was like, this is right up my alley. It is one of her jumbo bags with the pocket. Which I'm falling more and more in love with every time she makes them. And, um, yeah. I need a Pro Controller. But we're not going to go there. Um... So I got that. So this will, well, this project will live in this bag when I'm ready to make this sweater. I'm thinking of a birthday outfit, but I still got to come to terms with it. So, um, in love with this bag from Fate's Thread. And then the Mystery Knit Along yarn was also kryptonite. Um, I just, you know. I didn't podcast in the month of March, so you didn't see it. So I also got some new charms from Whitney Marie Anderson. And I completed my puff, my girl with the puffs. I completed that collection of changing colors. So this one is the orange one. I mean, you really can't see because I wonder. I don't think that did anything. Uh, oh, wait. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I thought I did something there. Kind of, but not really. So this one turns orange. And then this one is a fuchsia color. So now I have the purple, blue, fuchsia. Did I get? All right. Purple, blue, fuchsia, orange. I think there's a yellow but did I get yellow that may be the last one but just know I have like almost all of them and of course there's more on the way because I just can't help myself <laughs> they're such a great prize I just use my little credit card rewards points love those things so yeah so as far as strategies go I'm going to continue to work on my mystery knit along in the daytime and my sweater in the nighttime which is probably best anyway because it's kind of hard to do color work and talk and you know, like so 
socialize at the same time. So, yeah. And then it's sitting along. You usually want to finish your uh, clues in like a week. So that way you're ahead of the game. So. And I'm going to figure out what to do about my dad's hat. And yeah. So I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I hope you have a great time living the craftiest life possible, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.